SpongeBob Giat Fish by Mustard Pregnancy. That's a crazy name, but okay. This is Susie Grove, right? AKA the SpongeBob Giat. Oh, she was shaking now, that thing. As soon as this episode dropped, I remember seeing the memes everywhere online. Appreciate that, sir. I don't know what's wrong with the internet, bro. Like, this is a fish. It is cartoon so far Sorry, she's only appeared in the episode tangle tangled where plankton's trying to surprise karen for her birthday at the chum bucket it's actually super cute but also my brain just put two and two together that karen's birthday is not really her birthday it's just the day Man. that plankton built her because technically it's not her birthday technically is the day she turned on if we being honest the first time because he could have built her and then not turned her on yeah. the mass effect universe i just realized mikey looks like dr salian and aaron could a krogan lol i don't even know who that is aaron if you like look up dr salian and compare it to mikey i promise you regret it wait, wait, tears wait. of joy we're not even gonna look at him but he's inside her birthday cupcake singing a little song with a candle on his head but of course being plankton things go wrong yep, and the of candle course. ends up setting him on fire karen yeah. puts him out by dunking him back into the cupcake like he's a cigarette crazy but then work plankton gives karen her birthday <laughs> gift which is a gift certificate for tango lessons. Karen is a bit skeptical because oh, of, makes of, sense. of failed dance attempts. There's a flashback makes montage sense. where we see poor Plankton getting stepped on in different dance classes from oh. disco to cowboy to punk. Jeez. But Plankton assures Karen that this time things will be different <laughs> because he's got a new invention, the leg yanker five zillion. What it's the? this crazy oh. contraption that stretches out his legs oh. to ah. so they can dance without getting squished. Ah. Like Eric, that's the, bro. That's all them dudes oh. getting that surgery to get six. Yeah, weeks. that's crazy, bro. Get your leg broke for them to put metal rods. Ooh, but he goes through this like painful stretching oh. process. And I'd be lying if I say I did not scream when I saw this because, like, I think this is the first episode of season 14 that I've watched and. I have to say, it was so far, this is interesting. And the machines, nuts. well, it, it worked. worked. <laughs> <laughs> ends up with super long legs. Karen is impressed okay. and flirty, calling him tall, green, and evil. I mean, <laughs> I don't know about that. But they head to the Bikini Bottom Recreation Center for their first dance Susie lesson. Groove. There they meet SpongeBob, of course. Who's partnered with Pearl, right, along okay. with other dance partners like Pearl, Sloppy and Pearl Slippy. Which, huge. by the way, Jesus. who are these characters? Like I said, I still haven't finished every episode of the show, but okay. I just want to know, like, that boy is why invested. does Bro look? That look like the ah, yeah, ah, yeah, ah, yeah, ah, yeah, ah, yeah. like uh, he he looks like a reoccurring character design. In several different cartoons. Y'all know what I'm talking about. You know what we're talking about. Y'all know right? what I'm talking about. We? You, 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 I, huh? I, I don't even know that. what I said, Twin. Yeah, okay. I ain't even gonna lie to yeah, you. I said something. I know you And did. then when you said it back, I yeah. was like, damn. I don't yeah. even remember what I said. Yeah, I, it'd be like that. Yeah, yeah type okay. shit. I was just like, you know, in the conversation. Remember how like, you was like, you remember how you was like, you can't remember saying stuff? I think uh, since we erased your memory, your short term is fried too. Mm, yeah, that's, that's probably my bad. That's probably my bad. Makes sense. Makes probably sense. Probably my bad. Yeah, that's on you. That's on you. Yeah, we'll fix why? that. Why? Like, I don't know. Like, why does she have to look like this? Anyways, they're all waiting for their dance instructor, Susie Grove. Now, Susie makes a dramatic entrance, dancing, hey, dance splits, and. She got that rompus on her. There you go. That's a show. You should have cup on that thing. Yeah, that's a Whoa. show. Whoa. That's a they show. They knew what they was doing. That's a capital D. <laughs> Like, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold dramatic up. entrance, hold up. dancing in, doing the split. Hold splits. on. Boy, she Look at her, her back is all the way down here, bro. Oh, what are we oh, talking bro. about? That's a thick fish. <laughs> and this is the cartoon fish that the internet has came to a standstill. I mean, <laughs> like, first of all, you know, this is a cartoon character. Don't matter, twin. In SpongeBob. I ain't gonna like, lie. It don't matter. That twin. fish will BBL demon. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. You, the, the lips, the, the <laughs> hip, the chest ratio, the lips. Hey, that fish That's cool. a BBL demon, Jack. Going to all the right places. That's a BBL demon, Some of Jack. Them are for real down bad. Also, I'm not trying to be that guy, but isn't she supposed to represent like a beta fish? Because if she was, I mean, the only issue with this is that in the real world, beta fish don't even live in salt water. And I get it, I get it. We're talking we about- don't Why are we there? there? Why are we there? It's a SpongeBob. Why are we there? You, we talking about we, a talking sponge. <laughs> <laughs> why are we went there? It's really like a fool. show that has campfires underwater. But at least it's warm around the fire. Hey, if we're underwater, how can there be a- 
But anyways, back to the Gatfish. She okay. first starts by teaching oh, SpongeBob damn. how to dance. Riz. He was there just because Krabs told him Pearl needed a dance partner. At first, Pearl did not want to dance with SpongeBob because, I mean, he didn't even know. But the Gatfish <laughs> oh, herself oh, teaches her. Trained him up. I cannot say the same thing about Plankton because it's clear right away that Plankton and Karen are struggling. Plankton's new long legs are like the all legs. over the place. And yeah. he even accidentally gets his legs uh, stuck in oh, 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 oh. Susie gives them a key piece of advice. To dance the tango well, they need to use their hips and tap into their aggression. Okay. This is perfect for Plankton and Karen. Because all, all Plankton got is aggression. No, he no. like Mikey. You feel me? Nah, nah, that's not that's not a bad thing. But you are Captain Crash Out for a reason. Like you are Captain Atlanta, but you just Captain Crash Out. Like we like we know not to bring you nowhere too fancy and say nothing to you because you just might crash out. But we respect you for that. You feel me? Type shit. Yeah. I respect it. I'm, 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 gonna, get, I'm gonna get my new, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna get uh Captain Ed in the mold, you know what I'm saying, make my new my suit. No, nah, just get the Captain America right? suit. Nah, nah, nah. I want, no. I want custom. I want something that's made for me. Blacky the Crash Out. Type shit. That ain't my name, but you know what I'm saying? Type B. Get the other Captain America suit, the all black one. You know the one that from the the uh the winter the buggy Falcon Winter Soldier? Mm. He all black with a little red and white. Okay, okay, okay. That, okay. that worked for you. Captain Crash Out for real. I gotta yeah. have a half Jungle joint. Plankton. For real. Yeah. Jungle Plankton. Okay, for sure. Aaron, who are naturally competitive and obviously like Extremely Dude, that's a they crazy bro, I, I, bro, those are black lips. Karen, who are natural. That's black lips, bro. Really competitive and obviously. Nah. Like, oh, that ah. look like black lips, bro. Ah. That look like black lips, bro. Ah. Maybe. That look like black lips, bro. It could just be the. The, 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 the putting them together type beat. Extremely evil. They start getting into the spirit, even sabotaging other dancers, like Damn. chopping a spike strip behind slipping a slappy, causing them to deflate like balloons. Susie, the gatfish, she's them teeth actually is super crazy. impressed by the aggression and tells them that they're doing great, but Bro, look at that not thing. quite the best. Just when Plankton and Karen are feeling confident, <laughs> Bobass Bass and his mom, Mama Bass, of oh, course, entry. Oh Apparently, God. they're the top he get it from his mama, at right? dance school and have a reputation. That's Chess Harris, crazy. He's a bass? Bubble, Bubble bass. bass. He is Bubble a bass, bass bro. That's why they're so big. The best dancers I didn't know Bass just got that big. Because, like, <laughs> I know her head came crazy. That boy, that boy, nutty, bro. <laughs> Of course they do. That's a lot but of teeth, bro. It can be me. Prove that they actually are the best tango dancers in Bikini Bottom. A dance off ensues between Bubble Bass, his mom, and the Plankton. Where the bass first, that was tearing Plankton his mom up, bro? Try their best, but Bubble Bass and his yes, mom. Yes, we can see you, Professor Zombieology. They're so good that they literally knock Plankton and Karen oh, out the building. Get Again, them out of here, literally. Feeling defeated, but not willing to give up. Plankton decides that nah, they need the to win. He pulls out his ray. The obstacle. Damn, I'm gonna pull out the obstacle. Okay, whoa, Ray, this Ray Ray, a gadget that turns Plankton into is a confident American. alter ego, oh, okay. Ray Ray, complete with great hair Ray, Ray. and swagger. Karen uses Ray, the device on him, and suddenly Plankton is transformed <laughs> into this ultra smooth <laughs> dancer. They crash back into the dance studio okay. for a rematch, and with Ray's confidence, Plankton and Karen absolutely nail the tango. Mm -hmm, they move mm -hmm. so fast and aggressively that they set the room oh, on fire. fire. Even Bubble Bass and his mom are left in awe. The Gatfish herself is blown away and declares them as her new top students. But during the big finishing move, Plankton's legs just can't handle the speed and oh, friction, damn. so they it up. just kind of shrinks back to normal Jeez. size. Then the episode ends by everyone just like turning into Ray Ray. Now, going back to the instructor, aka when did she throw that fish, joint? Susie Grove, the writers, they knew what they were doing when of they course. made this character. But what's really interesting is that the show went as far as getting the same voice actress, Rosie Perez, who also plays Shell in- Rosie. <laughs> I didn't know you had it like that. I didn't know you were doing it like that, bro. I didn't know that was who. I didn't know that was for real. Holy oh, moly. The road to El Dorado. In this movie, Shell's playful and flirtatious demeanor is the internal the voice. power of her character. It all matches. Her body language is expressive and confident. So I'm sure when the writers were making this, they yeah. already had Rosie Perez yeah. in her mind to play Susie. A lot of people question, like, why is it whenever Ian Vasquez makes a character, it never truly feels like they're from the SpongeBob universe? One fan went as far as saying, since Steven Hillenburg died, the series has deteriorated Damn. too much, That's and the old characters have changed and received too many new designs and the new characters hardly resemble anything ancient 
that at least still remains in the series. The point has to do with the fact that Ian Vasquez started working on the series in 2018, 19 years after the series came out and yeah. the same year that Steven Hillerberg died. For yeah. me personally, yeah. I didn't think this episode was that bad or like Susie's character really took me out of it. But one thing I did think about when watching this episode was just like all the new episodes, they do kind of feel like a copy and paste of yeah. old SpongeBob episodes. Like yeah. remember Chaperone where SpongeBob takes oh. both her prom after her date dumped her at home feeling insecure about not being as impressive as pro's ex spongebob finds a magazine titled uh, long tan and handsome and decides to use it as inspiration spongebob oh, then puts together an, an elaborate yeah, outfit long green and some evil. ridiculously long and unstable artificial life i ain't gonna lie that was a smart flip can't, can't even lie to yeah. me that was it, a smart it, flip it, bro not, it's, it's all, it, i think <laughs> at this point it's all about keeping the series going yeah they're just trying to keep it going because you know the more kids they introduce to spongebob and then the more adults like, oh, you like SpongeBob? Let me show you the old. And then yeah. it just yeah, they go back and watch the forever. Shit. It's it's forever. Just, Hope yeah. y'all have going? a great day and some good laughs. Best duo content ya. creators, Black Ones OFC. I hope that doesn't sound racial in terms. What you mean by that? Twin? Oh, no. What you mean by that? <laughs> <laughs> well, Appreciate you, Ariel. Well. He make himself appear taller. However, at the prom, things start to go wrong when SpongeBob's That's leg definitely a function, flip. causing oh, him okay. to stumble and make yep. a mess. He spills his punch on him and just and has a really hard time keeping his balance, which embarrasses Pearl. Yeah. So it's obviously not a complete copy and paste, but it's like they're having a hard time just coming mm -hmm. up with original conflicts for the show. Again, don't get me wrong. I mean, the show been going on for almost it's 20 eight, years. This season 18, what? Oh, 14. Is, what did he say? 18 or 14? Like, come on, bro. This episode was a solid 7 out of 10. And to think that Plankton went from being a villain who wanted to conquer Bikini Bottom in the movie to a guy who really cares about his wife and not just ignoring her like in the earlier episodes. But this does give that a slight flaw because, like, you know how in the earlier episodes, Karen was like super sharp and kind of the brains behind Plankton's yeah. schemes. Like, she had all these witty comebacks and was just coming up with the smartest ideas while Plankton was. Oh, she's being sipping now? Plankton. Remember, of, did, didn't she get like rebuilt or some shit? She yeah. had to. She look at her. Look at her now. <laughs> so she got rebuilt. People, yeah. including myself, love this dynamic because it just felt like she was more than just Plankton's sidekick. She was literally an equal partner in crime, if yeah. not the smarter one. But then, as the show went on, especially in the Ain't later no season, way. Karen's Ain't world no just way. started to shift. Instead <laughs> of being this tech-savvy, sarcastic genius, she kind of just turned into this nagging wife stereotype. She just started getting her name's Karen. In typical literally. wife arguments with Plankton, which honestly literally. took away a lot of what made her character cool and unique in the first place it's like they turned her into more of a sitcom character and i'm not really feeling the change personally but i don't know let me know what you guys think of their dynamic now maybe e i'm wrong and playing? also comment down below what your first reaction was when you saw the gatfish from tangle tangled oh, oh really uh, I, it went a turn i thought we was just gonna talk about the ass fish yeah yeah but ww video man w video boss man oh he he do make theory so it makes sense